Camper, let's talk evolution. Sometimes a Pokemon can evolve into a different Pokemon, one that's bigger and tougher. Now, when you're out there with your own Pokemon, you'll need to know how they evolve. And that's what you're going to learn here. Let's start with what evolution can look like. I'll show you parts of two related Pokemon evolutions. You just need to pick the third one. Got it? Good! Wow, that was awesome! Check out the evolutions you named. Well, look at that! You're doing great! Hello again, camper. Welcome to my campfire. This activity is pretty simple. I'll show you a shadow of a Pokemon, and all you have to do is guess which one it is. Are you up for it? Great, then let's go! Nicely done! That was quite an accomplishment. Here's what you identified. Congratulations! You're well on your way to Pokémon Mastery. Little riverside stroll, eh, camper? 
While you're here, I'll teach you a little more about Pokemon types. Now, every Pokemon has a type, like grass or water or electric. There are even fairy type, poison type, and dragon type Pokemon. Crazy, huh? These types affect how you'll use a Pokemon in battle. They determine when a Pokemon has an advantage and when it's not so strong. That's what we're going to talk about now. a Pokemon float by in an inner tube with its type on the side. I'll give you three types below. You just have to pick the one that's strong against it. Ready? Let's do it. Great job! Check out what you got right! Congratulations, Camper! Camper, this is the Pokemon Alternate Reality Exploration and Naming Area, or Arena for short. The first skill you need to master is locating Pokemon in the wild, and you should know that Pokemon can live in very different places. As you can see, we're in a virtual field, the perfect place to find grass-type Pokemon. There are also objects out there you don't want, so keep your eyes peeled. If you're ready, let's go!
Nice work, Camper. That's a great accomplishment. Your skill is totally amazing. 